This is Ken Leone, Vice President of Marketing here at Stock Rover. This video will provide an overview of Stock Rover's watch list facility. I'll start by showing watch list management where you can create and edit watch lists in Stock Rover. Then I'll show the multiple ways to research and leverage watch lists in Stock Rover. Before jumping in, a quick primer on watch lists. As the name implies, a watch list is a list of tickers that you want to keep track of, or watch, if you will. You can populate watch lists with tickers based on any criteria of your choosing. Stock Rover allows you to create many different watch lists. Each watch list consists of a name and a list of tickers. You can use watch lists to keep track of different investment strategies or just keep a list of possible investment candidates. For example, you could group stocks by type, such as value, dividend or momentum stocks, or you can simply build watch lists with a specific set of stocks that you may potentially want to invest in. Using watch lists in Stock Rover, you can easily stay informed of potential investment opportunities. As we'll see, you can readily perform research and comparison on the tickers in the watch list. The tickers can include stocks, ETFs, and funds. You can chart a watch list as a separate whole entity and compare it against other stocks, indices, industries, or other watch lists. You can also score the tickers in a watch list against a screener based on the screener's criteria. Stock Rover makes it very easy for you to create watch lists with a multitude of options. You're pretty much always a right click away. You can type create watch list in the search bar. While in the table layout, go to the watch list folder and right click on create watch list. Right click on watch lists on the gray menu bar. Launch the watch list manager. Right click on the watch list folder. Or launch under watch list actions. Let's create a watch list. We'll name it research further. I can add one ticker at a time. I can continually add tickers. I can also paste multiple tickers from the clipboard. Notice I can also remove tickers. Let's save. We now see our watch list research further in the navigation pane along with a number of other default watch lists that are loaded into Stock Rover. To manage watch lists within Stock Rover, you'll want to go to the watch list management. This is found under the management group in the gray selector bar on the left. When I switch to watch list management, we see three panes displayed. Watch lists is where we select the watch list we would like to manage. I can also right click in the navigation pane for watch list options. Watch list actions provide shortcuts to watch list functions as well as quick access to help topics specific to watch lists. The watch list pane is where we can adjust the watch list ticker list. Along the top we see a number of other options for analyzing watch lists which we'll take a closer look at a little later on. The simplest and quickest way to display watch list results is the first select table mode in the gray navigation bar and then simply click on the watch list you want to research from the navigation panel. Clicking on a watch list loads the watch list tickers in the table. We'll stick with our research further watch list. Note that you can also right click in the navigation pane for watch list management options. Stock Rover starts you off with popular watch lists that you can use instantly. In addition to these, there are over 30 additional watch lists that you can select from and import into your account via the Stock Rover Investor Library. 
To do this, simply select Library from the gray navigation menu and select Watch Lists. Then find the watch list or watch lists you're interested in and import them. Note that watch lists that have already been imported are lightly shaded, as we can see here with the Dogs of the Dow watch list. I'll search for S&P 500 watch lists. I can then select and import. Let's go to the table. In the table, I've selected the Profile view. Notice that I can toggle to other views, such as Return versus the S&P 500. Let's sort on One Year Return versus the S&P 500. Let's filter for positive returns only. The summary row in the table is computed by weighting the tickers displayed in the table equally. Let's clear the filter. If I change to All Mode, in addition to the table, I can see both the chart and detailed insight information for each of the tickers in the watch list. You'll note that both the chart and the insight panel march in lockstep when I step through the tickers. I can also chart the watch list as a single entity. When watch lists are charted, an equal allocation of capital is assumed for each stock. I can benchmark a watch list. For example, I'll pick an index. I can also benchmark against other watch lists. Let's delete the benchmarks. Let's switch things up a bit. Let's see how to add tickers to a watch list on the fly. I'm going to go to Screeners and pick our Piotrowski High F-Score Screener. I'll switch to Table Mode. In the table, I see the tickers that meet the screening criteria. Let's say, in the course of my research, I'd like to add some of these tickers to a watch list. I can select one ticker, right-click, and Add to Watch List. Or I can multi-select tickers. Right-click and Add to Watch List. We now see that the additional tickers have been added to the watch list. Using this technique, I can add to the watch list from whatever is loaded in the table. It could be an index, a portfolio, a watch list, or a screener. Let's load the Growth at a Reasonable Price screener into the table. Let's go to the Actions pull-down. Let's save the table as Watch List. So I'll name it GARP with today's date. Let's save. I'm now saving my screener result to a watch list. This provides for true backtesting. Going forward, from January the 4th, we'll be able to see how the passing tickers in the screener fared in the market. Let's say we've identified a ticker or a set of tickers in our watch list that we would now like to trade into a portfolio. If we right-click on one ticker and select Trade in Portfolio, we can add the ticker to an existing portfolio, 
or create a new portfolio. We are prompted for the buy date, the quantity, and the price. Selecting multiple tickers allows us to add equal dollar values for each equity into the portfolio. I've selected three tickers, so $1,000 each would be $3,000. An especially powerful capability is watch list scoring. Let's go to the screener management and pick our growth at a reasonable price screener. We'll then use this screener to score our research further watch list. We see how each of the tickers scored against the 21 criteria of the growth screener. We see that LAM Research ranked 8th in the growth at a reasonable price screener and 1 in our watch list. The tooltip shows us specific details as to how the ticker fared in ranking and filtering as well as scoring. Scoring a watch list against a screener means you can see how well the tickers in a given watch list are scoring in the areas of value, dividend, growth, momentum, and much more. Let's go back to the watch list manager. Along the top we see a number of options available to us. We can shortcut from here directly to the table or the chart. We can perform correlation. And we can create alerts where we can receive alerts on tickers within the watch list based on price, earnings, and volume. To summarize, you can create a watch list or set of watch lists based on any criteria you fancy, including value, dividend, growth, momentum, or just some stuff that looks interesting to you. You can research the individual equities, ETFs, and funds within a watch list. You can also chart a watch list against other stocks, indices, industries, portfolios, or watch lists. You can add tickers from your watch list to a portfolio or vice versa. Lastly, you can score a watch list against a screener's criteria to see how the individual tickers in the watch list compare to a screener's criteria. I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you to explore Stock Rover and see all that it has to offer as well as check out our educational videos on our website. Thank you for watching.